let me show you how we can implement AI to analyze our job form submissions. This way we can analyze for accuracy, completeness, and even spelling. All of this with the power of AI. I'm going to give you a couple of examples on this video so you can understand how it works. And this way you can find ideas to implement it on your workflows. So let's get started with these examples. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to implement AI in combination with Job Form. Now, to accomplish this, we are going to use three services. One is going to be Job Form, which is our form submission system, and two, we're going to use OpenAI, which is going to be our AI analysis system, and three, we're going to use Pavli Connect, which is going to be the automation gateway that we're going to use to connect Job Form and OpenAI. So it's our gateway. So let's get started with this example. Now, this is my main dashboard for job form. And to get started, I recommend that we go ahead and create a new form. And for this, we'll use a template to go through it quickly. And what I'm going to do is create a feedback form. And that's what we're going to use to analyze on this video. Now, like I mentioned before, this is just an example. Once you watch the video and how AI is going to analyze this, you'll get ideas of how to implement this on your workflows. Now I'm going to use this one and I'll use the template right away. And the idea of this, of the combination that I'm going to show you is that we're going to use AI to analyze the submission. And if the submission is not correct, if it has misspelling, we're going to ask the form submitter to resubmit the form so or, or update it. So that way we have an accurate form submission. So now let's use this form. The first thing that we're going to do is connect this with Pavli Connect. Okay. So let's go ahead and go into settings. Go to integrations and we're going to search for webhook. Here it is. And we're going to need a webhook for this. What is this going to do? This is an integration where the form submission is going to be filled out and it's going to send out a webhook with the information from the form that's filled out. Now, like I said, we are going to use Pavli Connect for this demo. Um, you can use other services like Zapier, Make, Integrately and those kind of services. Okay, for this one, we'll use Pavli Connect, which would be kind of similar. Let's create a new workflow. And in this case, we'll name it dot form with AI. I'm going to create this. And for the first flow, which is the trigger, like what's going to trigger Pavli Connect to start working, to start an automation? Well, in this case, it's a webhook. Let's click on webhook. And this is the webhook that we're going to use. So let's copy this link. Let's go back into dot form. Let's paste it here. Let's complete the integration. And there we go. It's integrated. Now be aware in Pavli Connect that it's waiting for a webhook response. So it's waiting for the form to build filled out one time. Okay. So let's do that first. Let's fill it out really quickly. Let's go into publish, open in a new tab. And I'm going to fill this out form really quickly. Okay, I pre-filled it out with this information. I gave some feedback on how to fill out a form correctly. I'll submit the feedback and let's go into Public Connect and it should receive the data in a few seconds. There we go. It just received it. We can view it here and we have all the, the, the details that we need. Form ID, submission ID, the webhook that we use, the information that we use, for example, the username, suggestions, the data. For example, here's the data that we filled out, the name, the email and all the information that we have on the form submission. Now, all the fields from the form that we have is going to be sent out through the webhook. So if the form is different, you'll have all the fields available right here. And this is going to help us automate the process even further. So let me go ahead and close this. And next is choose the trigger. So in this case, like I mentioned before, we are going to use the power of AI. And for this, we're going to use open AI. So let me go ahead and choose open AI. We are going to generate content with this. Okay. So let's go ahead and connect. Now it's asking us to connect open AI, which is a new connection. And it's asking for the API key, the token. Let me show you where you're going to find the API key in open AI. So let's go into open AI. This is my open AI dashboard. And to find it, once you log into open AI, you go into your avatar on the top, right? And you go into view API keys. And this is where you're going to have a list of your API keys. You can generate a new secret key. That key that it provides, that's what we are going to use in Pavli Connect to connect. In this case, I have an existing connection, so I'm going to use that and I'm going to save. And that way I can connect with OpenAI. So I can trigger it to generate content. 
there we go it started here now we have the model selection in the beginning um, by default it selected 002 i would recommend 003 which is the latest ai technology as of this video which is da text davinci 003 okay and now the prompt this is the prompt where we're going to tell ai what we needed to do and in this case like i mentioned before we are going to analyze for completeness for spelling and all that good stuff in from the message that we received okay so we can play with the prompt here before we actually make it live but i would recommend going into openai first so like i said this is the main overview of openai and there's a link that says on the top playground i would recommend playing here first so you can understand how it's going to work and once it's correct we can go ahead and implement it in public connect so it works with our workflows so let's go ahead and start off with the first command that we want to give it so it starts using the ai power okay so i have just wrote the first command like i said validate the form submission by analyzing the text data and checking for accuracy spelling and completeness for from oh, hold on from the form submission okay and again i'll write submission here and i'll add the form submission so remember we filled out the form once so let me grab that data here with it quickly from the webhook let's go ahead and find that data here it is okay let me grab this and i'll put it here let's go ahead and submit it there we go it did a validation the submission is valid and accurate all instructions for filling out the form has been followed and all necessary information has been provided the spelling is correct and all words are complete now let's go ahead and test it again with another message that is different to see what it provides us as a result okay so i've just created this one which i made some spelling mistakes and i switched it up a bit and a bit incomplete let's go ahead and submit it okay the submission contains some spelling errors so it found the errors and it lacks completeness suggested edit if you need more online form it gives you a suggestion also now this might be a bit too long we don't need all of this it just depends how you want to build this ai suggestion we can also tell it and i'll give you an example here um let me see completeness perform submission and provide me an answer with valid or not valid okay so let's go ahead and submit it again and it should respond that short message the submission contains spelling errors and lacks completeness but it gives us the the details here in the beginning not valid okay so again let's test this with the previous message that's correct let's go ahead and grab this let's go back into our playground let's replace it paste it and submit it and it should be valid and it gives us the answer of valid so in this case because we told it we wanted to respond valid or not valid but if we want to remove this it'll give us the feedback from the submission now that could be useful for you or maybe you want something short like this now this would work even better valid or not valid because we want to automate it and we can create triggers based on this with the automation so you saw this right here we're going to use this for our public connect all this test that we made right now it's this right here the prompt is this this playground so let's add our prompt right here and for the message we're going to use a variable from the submissions from jot form so that means that every time a submission is made obviously it's going to be different so we need to grab it from the field here and let's go ahead and find it here it is and we're going to keep these as default we're not going to play with these let's go ahead and save and test and here it is valid submission so we got a valid okay and now let's go ahead and trigger this to do a workflow let's add a router and now we have two routers that means that we want to give a route we want to use we want to use a router for valid and not valid so the first one is the first router and it starts off with a filter we want to filter this so from the result in openai which is this one right here and we're going to say if it contains not valid save and continue and we should have a error there we go status error because it contains right now valid if we remove this and we test it again it's successful okay but the first one we're going to use it for not valid save and continue okay we get the error and what do we want to do with this what happens if it's not valid well we want to invite the form submitter to resubmit the form or make the corrections necessary 
So in this case, we can use SMTP to send out an email, which would be the best way because it'll have your own domain. But for this purpose, we're gonna use Gmail to make the flow a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna send out an email and I'm going to connect to my Gmail again. I can add my new connection, but in this case, I already have connected beforehand. The recipient address is going to be from the job form submission. So we want to tell that person who filled it out, which is this email to, hey, go ahead and fill out this form again because something is wrong with it because it's not valid, okay? And we can CC, BCC, the sender name. Again, we're gonna grab it from the webhook. And in this case, it's Jorge. And we'll do the space and we'll add the last name. There it is, Aguilar. And the email subject will say, please fix form submission. Okay, there we go. And the reply to, um, you can add the email that you're going to use for this. In this case, I'll use the same, same email, but you wanna to reply to the person who is in charge of receiving the job form submissions, okay? Content type, we'll leave it as plain, and the email content. This is what we're going to tell the user to um, fix the, the mistakes. We can say R, AI system, Okay, so I've told it here in the email content, which is our AI system has detected errors in your form submission. Please follow this link and update your form. And for the link, we'll add this one right here, which is jobform.com slash edit slash. And for this, we're going to use the submission ID. So it goes straight to that submission ID so it gets filled out. Okay, the file name, there's no file name, there's no attachments. Um, let's go ahead and save and test it just to show you. So it should, it should send out a Gmail with that information. So it's been sent out. Let me go ahead and open up that email. Okay, here's the email. You can see the, the subtitle, which is please fix form submission. Obviously we can make something nicer. We can use HTML also here to create buttons. But in this case, I kept it simple. So it's just saying that the AI system found some mistakes and this is the link that we provided. So it has this form submission, which is unique to that specific form from the form submitter. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to open up the form that we filled out and we can go ahead and update it now and we can go ahead and resubmit it and it'll go through the process again of the workflow that we created so let's go ahead and close this okay so that's the workflow for the not valid okay and in this case we use a valid for we use the router for not valid and we can use the router for many things to continue we can use a different type of message for valid or we can keep it as it is just like this so let's go ahead and test this out again again we're going to make some mistakes to fill out the form again. So it gives us a not valid suggestion, okay? So let me go into publish. Okay, let's fill it out. It could be comments and let's add some feedback here. Okay, so I just filled it out again. The message correct. Again, we're gonna add some, some mistakes. So it provides us the not valid system. So it triggers the workflow. Let's go ahead and submit the feedback. Okay, and in a few seconds, Pally Connect is gonna receive the submission. OpenAI is going to validate this with the AI power and it's going to let us know if it's a valid or not valid. If it's not valid, we should receive an email, which we should get around now. Let's go ahead and open this up. Here we go. We received the new email. You can see John Cotter and you can see that the submission should be unique and it should be tied to that one that has the mistakes. So let's go ahead and open this up. And here it is. Here's the feedback with all these um, misspellings and you can see it's not valid. So we're automatically telling users who fill out wrong the form as without valid information. And it's gonna trigger this automation to tell them to update the form with valid information. Now that you have these examples, you could find out ways to use AI to implement it in your workflows, depending where you want to use this. It could be also, for example, in other type of fields. It doesn't have to be specifically to one box. And I'll show you this in a bit. Here it is, let's go into Pabli, okay. And in the OpenAI, remember we added the information for the submission. Now, if we wanted to analyze more fields from the form submission, we can go ahead and add them here on OpenAI so AI can analyze it. So for example, remember we added the, the feedback section. We'll click on a side of this and we'll click on webhook and we can add more fields from the form. In this case, it's a short form. All we have is the name, email, and the feedback. But if we added those fields here, for example, the name, last name, and the email, it will also analyze that data. So it's gonna make sure that everything is valid. But what happens if we have more fields? So in this case, it's a short form. We can add more long text and short text, and these would be different answers. It could be math questions and 
OpenAI will actually analyze it and make sure that it's correct. We can just give it the prompt so it works correctly. Now, if this was a tech form submission, we can tell the prompt to analyze and that it has to do with tech. If it doesn't have to do with tech, we can make that answer us and, tell, and telling us that it's not valid. And we can use that information also to trigger and make the form submitter to actually add valid information. But there's a whole lot of things and it's super flexible to use OpenAI and Pally Connect for the automation and the AI integration. That it's going to depend how you want to integrate this on JotForm to automate some processes with AI. Well, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification so it notifies you when new videos come out. And we thank you all for watching.